So plan today is just to take off this cylinder again and flip the pressure ring as you guys told me in the comments. Luckily I would never figure that one out myself so now it's just taking the cylinder off and uh, flip it over and we have all seen it been done before so I will just take it off now and hopefully in under an hour we can have everything complete and on the tractor again. It's snowing again so yeah. It's always fun doing something you just did a short time ago. You remember everything, so it was maybe three minutes and this one was off and in here. And I'm draining it for oil now, so yeah, I learned something, maybe. We will see my jacket afterwards. And the garage is a mess. It's been two weeks with snowmageddon and just going in, fixing something and leaving it where it is, out in the tractor again, clearing snow and so on, so yeah, I need to clean this up soon. Everything is apart and as we can see there, the blue seal has torn a little bit there, so no wonder it was leaking. So luckily I got a new one and uh, then I will put it the other way with the lip down, according to you guys, that's the correct way. I had no clue. So here we can see it again and since I put it this way the last time and that was the wrong way, we put it this way so the lip is facing down. Just remove the black one so it's not in the way. It's so funny doing stuff when you just have done it and you know everything what you're supposed to do. Makes life a lot easier. Okay, what was the next tricks? Yeah, hot water. Let's put it in some hot water. Works a lot better when it's hot, actually. Alright, what do you guys think? Wanna be the right way this time? Hopefully. Should we just change out the black one also? Yeah, why not? Okay, I think that actually went a little bit easier this time as well. And that's actually a difference I see now. Uh, moving it this way is harder than moving it this way, so that's probably something to do with lip. Ah, nice. So I got the cylinder on, it's, I 
moved it up and down a couple times and it looks really good. No leaks at all, so I think you are 100% correct on the internet. I put the ring the wrong way, so it looks like it fixed it. But when I was lifting the snowblower up, I could see that it was tilting down on this side and up on the other side. And I started to look what could this be, measured everything, measured the arms and everything. I couldn't figure out what it was for at first, but then I could see this one is moving a lot. So this one is able to tilt on the shaft and then it doesn't lift as high on this side. So then I went out and I bought some new locking rings to have on it, but still it was moving. So I put two locking rings on it and still it was moving. And then I made a shims out of a plate inside and welded it to the one locking ring. And that seemed to work pretty good. You can see, I have it here. So just like this. But when I then lifted up, it popped off. So I guess the grooves and everything is a little bit worn out. So I need to weld the locking ring to the shaft also for making this stick. And I actually am dealing with a guy on Facebook right now for complete new sets for the back. New arms, new cylinders, new everything. So I guess I will buy that from him and that will fix everything. But first we need to put the locking rings back on and then the shims and then weld everything together. As we can see, it's a lot of, lot of play here. So, seems like the grooves has been worn out also. So, probably a good idea to weld everything, and then I can just cut it away when, when I get the new parts. So, first on this guy, no problem. You can see, it's still plenty of room. Here's the plate that I will use as the shims. I just marked it with the hole saw and then I can cut around this line and make it same width as the locking ring accordingly, something like that.
All right, there we have the shims. Let's go and see if we can get it in place. Okay, now we need to twist everything this way a little bit so I can continue hammering it because here is no room. So what I will do now is just weld this together, then hammer it down here, weld it together, hammer it down here, weld it together and so on, all the way around. And then in the end I will lay a bead against the shaft. Because, because if you see now, this one is loose and this one is tight. So I guess this will fix it. Alright, let's see how it works. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's happening now, but it didn't help. You can see the snowblower how crooked it is. I don't get it. And I can clearly see that this one is lower than the one on the other side. I did adjust that one a little bit yesterday but it should be lifting higher than this anyway. And It does look like we are on the same height with this. Yeah, more or less. I can see the welds here have cracked, but I'm guessing that's because this is cast iron and this is steel. But everything else is in place. Maybe we try up and down a couple of times just if it's some air in the cylinder after the hoses was off or 
something like that. Okay, this didn't hold. See, the whole ring and everything is out again. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's do this the real way. I am welding all the way around here. Locking rings. So here's the result. I think this will hold for yeah, hopefully a long time. We'll see. And even if this part cracks loose from the shaft, it shouldn't be any problems because the welds will hold it in. So but hopefully that's not the case. So there it is, the snow blower is level again. I just had to adjust a little bit on the adjustment on this right side and uh, yeah hopefully the weld will hold for a long time but i'm still buying the stuff from the guy on facebook and uh, replacing everything sooner or later and i get new pistons and everything so that's pretty great i guess i'm i am losing a little bit of lift height now because of I need to adjust down on that side and this side can't lift any higher it's probably a little bit crooked still but it's okay, I think. So, it's fixed for now. Then I can go out and uh, do some snow removal again. <laughs> 